It's been a, a month wearing the H&W um, traveler style boots. Um, you can see all the, the damage that I do at work because this is the foot I sit on. I want to show you compared to um, the, the rough out. Same time in it, sorry for the wobbliness. You don't really see it because a rough out really does well against damage. So which one do I like better? Um, I think, oh, look at this. I can see what's going on behind me. I, I think I like the H&W last more because I, I appreciate having a lower heel, personally, for regular walking. And that's only because I've lived and worked in athletic shoes all my life and um, so they're they're more comfortable, but aesthetically, I like the heel. I like the the uh, 55. So they're breaking in well. They feel real good. I don't have a lot of arch support in these because I have a normal arch, I think, and or so so therefore you don't really have a lot of arch. So the last week I tried this and I put this arch support in that I made at work because I make bracing stuff, and that made a big difference. So I think for me. The perfect boot, and the, the, a great boot for a lot of people, would be the um, their, their new Stitch Down, which is not that new, but I haven't seen anyone review it. Uh, I think it's great because the Stitch Down has the ability to remove the insert, and um, you can take it out, put in a new one, and that, that makes a, a big difference because you can achieve that higher arch that you, you don't have in this. So if you have a, a flatter foot, then this H and W last on the, you know, whatever tread they offer is a great option. And if you want a wedge sole in uh, in the 55 last, they now have the, I don't know if it's the Delta Arch or it's the Delta something or other. Um, it's really new, I, but it's Delta something. <laughs> I wish I had that information. I'll, I can I can write it down in the description or but but that gives you the the height but also the wedge because they're building the stack of the leather inside the boot to, to mask it I think I think that's what they're doing because another company Whites has one that does that and it was cut in half by Rose Anvil and you could see that that's how they achieved the the this, this aesthetic aesthetic with the that 55 style height and I've worn that boot. Um, it feels like it has a little more arch than the 55 last, but partly I think that might be because it's not as high as the 55 last, but it has the same last. So if you if you lower it, like if you were to walk around like this, you're gonna feel that arch more in the middle. Whereas if you raise it up, it's gonna shift your weight more, it's gonna distribute it a little better. But if you're like this, you're just gonna feel directly down on the arch. So color-wise, I like a darker boot and in regards to the the I love the coloring and the textures you get with this but what I found is the when I saw the buck brown I thought I like the buck brown this is more of almost like a orangier caramel it's brown it's more of it's closer to tan than it did brown because this is the natural but the buck brown is gorgeous it's like I would say that's like a, a chocolate or color now this I like this a lot more you can see the inside Compared to the outside, you can see the difference. It's a little lighter with the rough out, and I like, I like the um, darker brown. So I saw when they had the mahogany, fantastic, beautiful, and I and I could see why they might go to the mahogany over the um, over this. Uh, they're both great, but I think it's just a darker. This would be like a milk chocolate. The mahogany on the picture looks like a looks like a dark chocolate. It's just really, really rich looking. So the mahogany is, is a beautiful, and if they switch it with this, great. This is a good option too. This is a great leather. So to, to build a perfect boot, for me, for, for just for function, it would probably be, probably be the stitch down. I would say the stitch down boot, because I like the wedge sole. So I have closer to the H&W last. I could stick my orthotic in it, that would give me my arch support, and I would go with, I would go with like a 64 leather, because look at how much, look at this flexibility. So it just gives you so much more movement. Um, whereas this is, you can see how much stiffer this is, and I wore this quite a bit. Uh, footbeds on these, you need more than a month to really break it in. 
it's got better and better and it will continue to get better. It's not going to feel like you feel in a, a tennis shoe right out of the box. The tennis shoe feels great. But, but these progressively got better over time. I think you need, I mean, it, you know, I don't know how long it takes to fully break it in, but it will continue to get better over time. Again, you're never going to achieve some like the softness or the comfort of a, a, a shoe with like the hookahs with the, that much foam, but you also don't have any ankle stability. You don't have any support. You might throw an insert in there and you have arch support and, and softness. So it's good if you're up and down and you're sitting at your desk all day, but standing, if you want support, you need something like this. So I think for standing inside, they're right. Wedge soles, a really good way to go. For instance, with this leather, and if you can put an arch in it, then get, then I would get a, um, I would get the stitch down. And if you can't, then I would just go with the leather that they have. But the insert they put is a, a, a stitch down insert anyway. Also, I would make it a 10 inch. Having said that, aesthetics are important and i personally ordered a pair of basically 55 last 10 inch brown wax flesh with a um with a full uh, v-bar i originally have a uh, had it at a the half v-bar but i went to the full because it looked too much cowboy to me and i made a decision to change it wrote them an email they said no problem it's updated Mat bill of materials are changed but the uh, it may not reflect it in your when you drop it down. So their customer service, you can always get a hold of them on email because they're very busy. Um, like if I've called back in the day when I called Whites, hey my neighbor, when I called Whites, I was able to get a hold of them on the phone generally. But Nick's, uh, it's it's email and and it's very efficient and they answer your questions. So understand that the lead times to build these things take forever. Anyway, I'm going to show you some videos of uh, some pictures of, of the boot outside and see how they look, see what you think. But again, you, you're going to need months to break these in. You can see how pretty this leather looks outside. In this video, it's the sun had just set, so I have outside light because we don't have any clouds here in Colorado where I live. So I have a lot of, a lot of uh, ambient light. Uh, but you can see a lot of pull-up, very pretty boot. As you can see in these pictures, this is pretty much overhead sunlight. And then, of course, without it, that the day previously, without it, with the low light. And then back and forth. So you can see how different just the shining of the sun off the boot makes. And then, of course, you see all the grains and stuff in the low light. You see that in the, high, the higher light, but you see more, you see different colors. So... The leather is very beautiful and it is showcased very well out in outdoor light. So that's why I like to show that as opposed to just the indoor uh, fake light. It's, it's wonderful to see them outside. I'd like to see what we can do about putting some, some um, cleaner or preservative on this. See, see what it does, see how it changes it uh, with it, you know, since I've got all these nicks and scrapes in it, these are more than most boots since this is actually touching the ground. So we'll put some on and see what happens. The open offs, um, I believe Nix provides a little one. I think it's the same brand and that's where I saw it from. And then I looked for a larger amount and I found it on Amazon that I could buy it. So let's, let's just see what happens when we put this, see, see how it fixes those. See what it does to it. And that's actually pretty excellent. Now, I don't want to overdo it. And I, I, I really shouldn't even bother doing it in the upper part. Because I don't want to just saturate my boot with oils. That looks a lot better. Let's look at the front. Let's check put a little on the front there. Look at that. That yeah, looks nice. Now, if you were to put it up here, I didn't add any more, but I just took whatever was on my cloth and put it on up there. Well, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? We get a little few few other spots. I'll see about the toe. Now, this has been there for a long time, and these little deep cuts. They can't be changed, but 
Now, if you had a rough out, you wouldn't you would not not get that. We'll see what happens with these little scrapes there too. See that? That looks great. Now it'll probably darken it a little bit if you continue to do this. This is not something I would want to do every day, but you know, lightly go over it. I'm just using a 100% cotton. Oh, that looks fantastic, doesn't it? Let's see about the back. Okay, pretty good. Let me look at the other boot. <laughs> okay, so it's going to touch those areas. So yeah, that's something to think about. You don't need oil. you don't need to put oil on your whole boot. Just uh, perhaps the areas that are making the contact. And since I have a little left over, I'll just lightly go over all this because. There's a few nicks and scrapes there. This boot is a lot better because, like I said, when I see patients, I I usually am casting or something, so I'm sitting on the floor. So then I sit, I end up sitting on my foot, and my foot rides underneath, and then I sit right there, and my other foot's extended. Although this is the other leg. So anyway. That worked out very well. Um, for for me in the future, in regards to boots, I have a boot coming at some point that is going to have. The, I hopefully it'll happen. Um, I think it's being worked on, um, but by next. But it's going to have a different leather in each each section. So it'll be one one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, and the back stay, possibly a toe cap. Maybe they'll add other stuff like a lineman patch. So I'm going to do, I would like to do maybe all heritage leathers on one boot and all uh, work leathers or whatever on the other boot. But it's kind of up to them. I think whatever leathers that they want to showcase, that's up to them. That way I can wear it and I'll wear it for like six months. That's, that's the idea. Wear it a long time, six months, lots of pictures, send it back and forth. So, so that I can show how the leather changes. And if, and if they, for instance, if they said, you know what, we don't want you to put any oils or anything on it, I won't do that. I'll just wear it, beat it up, only exclusively wear it. And then I can show what it looks like. So if you're interested in seeing something like that, please subscribe because once I get it, I'll do an unboxing and it is going to be strange looking, but it's going to be cool because this might be, this will be one leather. This will be another leather. This will be another. Now, I in the original setup, I said, hey, maybe something like black through here or up top because that's not really going to be shown. Um, you know, I want the, I want the, the, whatever gets nicked up. If it's a brown wax flesh, I want it to be able to be nicked up. I wouldn't want it to be up in the stays or whatever, but anywhere they can add leather. For instance, they want to put a patch for a knife. Great, add that. Whatever, whatever works the max amount of variety. If they want to have buck brown, put it on there. If they have a new leather, throw a buffalo. It doesn't matter. But we'll see. Anyway, so so subscribe to that. I uh, just love leather, love the boots. Um, I'll also try to throw in different kilties to get different color changes from wear and tear. So I'll do whatever I can to because I enjoy it. It's just so much fun. Um, but I kind of have this last, the 55 last, and hopefully that'll be built in the stitch down. I can go ahead and kind of talk. And, and throughout that process, I'm going to also s speak on, maybe go through the website, especially when they're new it and, or fix it and show, you know, kind of walk through, oh, you go here, you go here, because there's amazing things you can do. Like, Going back to what I said about before about my boot that I personally selected to buy, that I'll get it in June or whatever. I liked the Robert, but I didn't want an eight inch, so I was able to go to a made to order, fifty five last heritage selection to customize it, and it was the same price. Only I was I could get my ten inch, I could get virtually everything the same. 
Uh, there might be some differences, but to me, I wouldn't notice it because it's a 55 last. It's it's the dogger heel. It's the stacked leather. You know, it's the everything leather I want and whatever. So it's perfect. And like you know, I opted for a for a cut top instead of a roll top. But anyway, please subscribe. Look for more stuff. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day.